Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez with the morning announcements. Joy, we got a full house. Good morning, Joy. Good morning, everyone. There's so many people. Yeah. Good morning, Jake. Good morning, Caleb. Good morning. Good morning. All right, guys. Listen, we got a brand new flag this morning. Caleb is our uh, going to lead us in our, our Pledge of Allegiance. This flag was submitted to us by Dylan in the kindergarten. Uh, Dylan, big shout out to Dylan. Thank you so much for sending that in. Caleb, lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Good morning. Thank you again, Dylan. Happy Monday, everybody. Today is January 25th, 2021. Uh, we had a little rain on Saturday and then beautiful sunshine uh, yesterday and outside now it's really wet. Looks like it rained last night. We're going to have a high of 54 degrees. So that temperature has come way down, huh, Joya? Mm -hmm. Remember, it was, it was the 80s like uh, yeah. a week ago. Last week. Yeah, just last we're week. We're seasonal weather. Right. Uh, so listen, remember, Caleb is our two-time bingo winner uh, from December. He was with us on Friday. He's back again today, and he's got his fish going back there. I like that screensaver you got there, Caleb. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, guys, something that happened over the weekend uh, that we want to start with is the passing of Ham uh, Hammer and Hank Aaron. Uh, let me put this little uh, picture up here. Uh, this is a true American icon passed away. Tell us about Hammer and Hank Aaron there, Joya. Um, he was, Aaron is regarded as one of the greatest baseball players of all time. That's right. His 755 career home runs broke the long-standing MLB record set by Babe Ruth and stood as the most for 33 years. Oh, my goodness. He hit 24 or more home runs every year from 1955 through 1973 and is the only one of two players to hit 30 or more home runs in a season at least 15 times. Wow. True American icon. Guys, he also did all that uh, while facing extreme racism. When he was going up against Babe Ruth to, to have the most home runs in Major League Baseball, it is believed that he would receive thousands of letters of hate mail every single day just because he was a black man who was about to become the home run king of the MLB. He overcame all that, uh, and he could not have been more gracious and more of a gentleman and great ambassador for baseball and for our country. And for that reason, we salute Hammer and Hank Aaron uh, today. Great American hero. Um, so that was uh, something that happened on Saturday. And that's actually uh, part of history, right, Jake? And Jake's yeah. every Monday to talk to us about Jake's Jossum Week in history. What do you got today, Jake? Um, let me pull it up. Uh, um, so this is actually one that has to do a lot with California history. Gold was first discovered in California in Sutter's Mill. When President Polk announced the news in December, the gold rush began. And the California gold rush is actually what mostly made California become a state. Absolutely. And all that took place January 24th, 1848. 1848. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that, Jake. Jake, you know, there are 180 days in the school year. Yeah. Anybody have an idea? Does anybody have an idea what number today is out of those 180 days? 87. 80s. It is 87. And we're almost at the halfway point. Uh, this yeah. week marks the halfway point of the school year. But can you believe that, Caleb? The year is almost halfway over. Yeah, it's flew by super fast. Joya, doesn't it seem like we were just starting the school year and now it's halfway <laughs> over? That's what totally. I, I feel that way. So, um, but I also Jake, what, feel what? like we should be further in this school year. Oh, you think you think we should be almost done? Well, yeah. Jake, I know you've got a little surprise for everybody yes, about I the halfway do. point. Why don't you share that now? Jake is going to take us on a little trip down the first half of the school year. So, um, we have a look back from August to December. 
schools go online for a full year because of COVID-19 for the first time ever. Makes me sad to hear that. In the United States, um, we had a few things happen. There were Black Lives Matter protests. Um, our, so one of our Supreme Court justices, um, Ruth, Bader, Ruth Ginsburg. Bader Ginsburg, died. The United States got the highest um, people that had highest confirmed cases of COVID. The vaccine was approved. Um, ballots were counted for the for the presidential election, and we got a new president and vice president. I have a picture of the vice president here. All that took place in the last six months, huh? Mm-hmm. In California, it got the highest COVID in LA got the highest in California, and California got the highest in um, the country for COVID-19. The Lakers won, and the Dodgers won. There were fire. There were a lot of fires, uh. and schools said that they would open soon, but they closed. But they stayed closed because. Um, COVID-19 got higher in LA, which is what I have here. Yeah. Then in the school, we've had the Halloween carnival. We've had a music video. Every Friday we've had the, oopsies. Oh, the <laughs> Unity Fair family video. Yeah. Can you go Let back go, on the slide? Yeah, there I went back. Every Friday we have the the every Friday we had these. We had cartoon night, frosty night, and we had the September dance party. I think. Oh man, all that took yeah. place in six months. <laughs> Bravo! Great job on that, Jake. Thanks so much for sharing that, Caleb. What's your takeaway from all that that's happened in the last six months? What do you think? Yeah, it's a lot to hold in. It is. From from the country to California to our school. Joy, what stood out to you? <laughs> There's a lot. Of, there, a lot of stuff went on in the past six months. I feel like you could fit a whole history book in it. And we're only halfway done. So I, I know. You're now um, starting up. These so many things are going to happen. Um, and I want to try to get as many things possible. Um, I'm actually going to try to do these monthly now. Well, listen, we've already got the first event coming up that will go in your second half recap there, Jake. On Wednesday, we have something big happening. Uh, Caleb, tell everybody what's happening this Wednesday. This Wednesday, January 27th, is Mr. Glover Day at Carpenter. That's right. It is Mr. Love, Glover love the sport of soccer. Everyone is encouraged to wear their favorite soccer team's jersey, hat, and or scarves. If you have ever played AYSO soccer, wear your team jersey. That's right. Mr. Glover was a huge, and I mean huge, soccer fan. Uh, so any kind of soccer stuff that you've got, you can wear that. That's this Wednesday. You could do your virtual background like a baseball stadium or your favorite baseball team, whatever you want. If you don't have anything, I'm not, not baseball, soccer, excuse me, not baseball, soccer. Uh, if you don't have any soccer related clothing, you could just wear a nice dress shirt because Mr. Glover always wore a nice collared shirt, long sleeve press shirt. We want to celebrate him this Wednesday. That's January 27th for Mr. Glover Day. And remember, we're still collecting offerings for his family. If you have a card or a letter or a piece of art you want to send in, mail that to the school, and then we're going to be delivering those uh, very soon. Guys, let's do our words of wisdom now. Everybody ready? Yeah. Boys and girls, have you ever been eaten up with guilt? Have you ever felt so bad about something that you did or said that you couldn't think about anything else? Well, the character from the great book, Huck Finn, he says, Conscious takes up more room than all the rest of a fellow's insides. If your conscious is bothering you, talk with someone you trust 
and find a way to mend the situation the best way you can. Then remember this Filipino proverb. A good conscience is more valuable than wealth. Remember, if you keep your conscience clear and always try to do the right thing, you'll live a much richer life. Well said. With something to think about, this is Mr. Martinez. And Julia. And Jake. Thank you, Rob. Make it a great day. Or not. The choice is yours. Caleb, we've enjoyed having you the last two days. Remember, we got Carmina coming up tomorrow. Caleb, do you have any final wishes for uh, for all the students at our school before you sign off? Yeah, my wish is that we can all come back to school and have a great time. You know what? I'm right there with you, Caleb. Thank you for sharing that, buddy. Jake, you did an amazing job on your first half recap of the year. Thanks. Very proud of you. Joya, have a great day at school, and we'll see everybody back here tomorrow for the morning announcements. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.